Hampshire. Hampshire, abbreviated Hants, is a county on the southern coast of England. The county town, with city status, is Winchester, a frequent seat of the royal court before any fixed capital, in late Anglo-Saxon England. After the metropolitan counties and Greater London, Hampshire is the most populous ceremonial county, 1.84 million in 2017, in the United Kingdom. Its two largest settlements, Southampton and Portsmouth, are administered separately as unitary authorities and the rest of the area forms the administrative county, which is governed by Hampshire County Council. First settled about 14,000 years ago, Hampshire's recorded history dates back to Roman times, when its chief town was Winchester. When the Romans left Britain, the area was infiltrated by tribes from Scandinavia and mainland Europe, principally in the river valleys. The county was recorded in the 11th century Doomsday Book, divided into 44 hundreds. From the 12th century, the ports grew in importance, fueled by trade with the continent, wool and cloth manufacture in the county, and the fishing industry, and a shipbuilding industry was established. By the 16th century, the population of Southampton had outstripped that of Winchester. By the mid 19th century, with the county's population at 219,210, doubled that at the beginning of the century, in more than 86,000 dwellings, agriculture was the principal industry and 10% of the county was still forest. Hampshire played a crucial military role in both world wars. The Isle of Wight left the county to form its own in 1974. The county's geography is varied, with upland to and mostly south flowing rivers. There are areas of downland and marsh, and two national parks. The New Forest, a small part of which is in Wiltshire, and part of the South Downs, which together cover 45% of Hampshire. The county has a milder climate than most of Britain. Hampshire is one of the most affluent counties in the country, with an unemployment rate lower than the national average, and its economy derived from Mayor companies, maritime, agriculture, and tourism. Tourist attractions include many seaside resorts. The National Parks and the Southampton Boat Show. The county is known as the home of writers Jane Austen and Charles Dickens, the childhood home of Florence Nightingale, and the birthplace of engineer Isambard Kingdom Brunel. Hampshire takes its name from the settlement that is now the city of Southampton. Southampton was known in Old English as Hampton, roughly meaning village town, so its surrounding area or SCIR became known as Hampton Sire. The old name was recorded in the Doomsday Book as Hante Sire. And from this spelling, the modern abbreviation Hans derives. From 1889 until 1959, the administrative county was named the County of Southampton and has also been known as Southamptonshire. Hampshire was the departure point of some of those who left England to settle on the east coast of North America during the 17th century, giving its name in particular to the state of New Hampshire. The towns of Portsmouth, New Hampshire, and Portsmouth, Virginia take their names from Portsmouth and Hampshire. The region is believed to have been continuously occupied since the end of the last ice age about 12,000 BCE. At this time, Britain was still attached to the European continent and was predominantly covered with deciduous woodland. The first inhabitants were Mesolithic hunter-gatherers. The majority of the population would have been concentrated around the river valleys. Over several thousand years, the climate became progressively warmer, and sea levels rose. The English Channel, which started out as a river, was a major inlet by 8000 BCE, although Britain was still connected to Europe by a land bridge across the North Sea until 6500 BCE. Notable sites from this period include Boldner Cliff. Agriculture had arrived in southern Britain by 4000 BCE, and with it a Neolithic culture. Some deforestation took place at that time, although during the Bronze Age, beginning in 2200 BCE, this became more widespread and systematic. Hampshire has few monuments to show from these early periods, although nearby Stonehenge was built in several phases at some time between 3100 and 2200 BCE. In the very late Bronze Age, fortified hilltop settlement known as Hillforts began to appear in large numbers in many parts of Britain including Hampshire, and these became more and more important in the early and middle Iron Age. Many of these are still visible in the landscape today and can be visited, notably Danebury Rings, the subject of a major study by archaeologist Barry Cunliffe. By this period, the people of Britain predominantly spoke a Celtic language, and their culture shared much in common with the Celts described by classical writers. Hilfert's largely declined in importance in the second half of the 2nd century BCE, with many being abandoned. Probably around this period, the first recorded invasion of Britain took place, 
as southern Britain was largely conquered by warrior elites from Belgic tribes of northeastern Gaul, whether these two events are linked to the decline of Hilferts is unknown. By the Roman conquest, the epidemic then to Belgarum, modern-day Winchester, was the de facto regional administrative center, Winchester was, however, of secondary importance to the Roman-style town of Kaleva Atrubatum, modern Silchester, built further north by a dominant Belgic polity known as the Atrobodies in the 50s BCE. Julius Caesar invaded southeastern England briefly in 55 and again in 54 BCE, but he never reached Hampshire. Notable sites from this period include Hengistbury Head, now in Dorset, which was a major port. The Romans invaded Britain again in 43 CE, and Hampshire was incorporated into the Roman province of Britannia very quickly. It is generally believed their political leaders allowed themselves to be incorporated peacefully. Venta became the capital of the administrative polity of the Belgi, which included most of Hampshire and Wiltshire and reached as far as Bath. Whether the people of Hampshire played any role in Boudicca's rebellion off 60-61 CE is not recorded, but evidence of burning a scene in Winchester dated to around this period. For most of the next three centuries, southern Britain enjoyed relative peace. The later part of the Roman period had most towns build defensive walls, a pottery industry based in the New Forest exported items widely across southern Britain. A fortification near Southampton was called Clausentum, part of the Saxon shore forts, traditionally seen as defenses against maritime raids by Germanic tribes. The Romans withdrew from Britain in 410 CE. Two major Roman roads, Ermine Way and Portway cross the north of the country connecting Caleva Atrebatum with Carinium Dabonorum, modern Sirencester, and Old Sarum respectively. Other roads connected Venta Belgarum with Old Sarum, Wickham, and Clausentum. A road, presumed to diverge from the Chichester to Silchester Way at Wickham, connected Novia Magus Reginorum, modern Chichester, with Clausentum. Records are unreliable for the next 200 years, but in this time, Southern Britain went from being Brythonic to being English and Hampshire emerged as the centre of what was to become the most powerful kingdom in Britain, the Kingdom of Wessex. Evidence of early Anglo-Saxon settlement has been found at Clausentum, dated to the 5th century. By the 7th century, the population of Hampshire was predominantly English-speaking, around this period, the administrative region of Hampshire seems to appear. The name is attested as Hampton Seer in 755, and Albany Major suggested that the traditional western and northern borders of Hampshire may even go back to the very earliest conquests of Surtic, legendary founder of Wessex, at the beginning of the 6th century. Wessex gradually expanded westwards into Brythonic Dorset and Somerset in the 7th century. A statue in Winchester celebrates the powerful King Alfred, who repulsed the Vikings and stabilized the region in the 9th century. A scholar as well as a soldier, the Anglo-Saxon Chronicle, a powerful tool in the development of the English identity, was commissioned in his reign. King Alfred proclaimed himself King of England in 886, but Athelstan of Wessex did not officially control Toll of England until 927. By the Norman Conquest, London had overtaken Winchester as the largest city in England and after the Norman Conquest, King William I made London his capital. While the centre of political power moved away from Hampshire, Winchester remained an important city, the proximity of the new forest to Winchester made it a prized royal hunting forest, King William Rufus was killed while hunting there in 1100. The county was recorded in the Doomsday Book divided into 4400 from the 12th century, the ports grew in importance, fueled by trade with the continent, wool and cloth manufacture in the county, and the fishing industry, and a shipbuilding industry was established. By 1523 at the latest, the population of Southampton had outstripped that of Winchester. Over several centuries, a series of castles and forts was constructed along the coast of the Solent to defend the harbours at Southampton and Portsmouth. These include the Roman Portchester Castle which overlooks Portsmouth Harbour, and a series of forts built by Henry VIII including Hurst Castle, situated on a sand spit at the mouth of the Solent, Callshot Castle on another spit at the mouth of Southampton Water, and Netley Castle. Southampton and Portsmouth remained important harbours when rivals, such as Poole and Bristol, declined, as they are amongst the few locations that combine shelter with deep water. Mayflower and Speedwell set sail for America from Southampton in 1620. During the English Civil War, 1642-1651, there were several skirmishes in Hampshire between the Royalist and Parliamentarian forces. Principal engagements were the Siege of Basing House between 1643 and 1645, and the Battle of Cheriton in 1644, 
both were significant parliamentarian victories. Other clashes included the Battle of Alton in 1643, where the commander of the Royalist forces was killed in the pulpit of the parish church, and the Siege of Portsmouth in 1642. By the mid 19th century, with the county's population at 219,210, double that at the beginning of the century, in more than 86,000 dwellings, agriculture was the principal industry, 10% of the county was still forest, with cereals, peas, hops, honey, sheep and hogs important. Due to Hampshire's long association with pigs and boars, natives of the county have been known as Hampshire hogs since the 18th century. In the eastern part of the county the principal port was Portsmouth, with its naval base, population 95,000, while several ports, including Southampton, with its steam docks, population 47,000, in the western part were significant. In 1868, the number of people employed in manufacture exceeded those in agriculture, engaged in silk, paper, sugar and lace industries, shipbuilding and salt works. Coastal towns engaged in fishing and exporting agricultural produce. Several places were popular for seasonal sea bathing. The ports employed large numbers of workers, both land-based and seagoing. Titanic, lost on her maiden voyage in 1912, was crewed largely by residents of Southampton. On October 16, 1908, Samuel Franklin Cody made the first powered flight of in the United Kingdom at Farnborough, then home to the Army Balloon Factory. Hampshire played a crucial role in both world wars due to the large Royal Navy naval base at Portsmouth, the Army camp at Aldershot and the military Netley Hospital on Southampton Water, as well as its proximity to the Army training ranges on Salisbury Plain and the Isle of Purbeck. Supermarine, the designers of the Spitfire and other military aircraft, were based in Southampton, which led to severe bombing of the city in World War II. Aldershot remains one of the British Army's main permanent camps. Farnborough is a major center for the aviation industry. Although the Isle of Wight has at times been part of Hampshire, it has been administratively independent for over a century, obtaining a county council of its own in 1890. The Isle of Wight became a full ceremonial county in 1974. Apart from a shared police force, no formal administrative links now exist between the Isle of Wight and Hampshire, though many organizations still combine Hampshire and the Isle of Wight. In the 20th century, local government reorganization led to a reduction in Hampshire's size. In 1974, the towns of Bournemouth and Christchurch were transferred to Dorset. Hampshire is bordered by Dorset to the west, Wiltshire to the northwest, Berkshire to the north, Surrey to the northeast, and West Sussex to the east. The southern boundary is the coastline of the English Channel and the Solent, facing the Isle of Wight. It is the largest county in southeast England and remains the third largest shire county in the United Kingdom despite losing more land than any other English county in all contemporary boundary changes. At its greatest size in 1890, Hampshire was the fifth largest county in England. It now has an overall area of, and measures about east, west and north, south. Hampshire's geology falls into two categories. In the south, along the coast is the Hampshire Basin, an area of relatively non-resistant Eocene and Oligocene clays and gravels which are protected from sea erosion by the Isle of Purbeck, Dorset, and the Isle of Wight. These low, flatlands support heathland and woodland habitats a large area of which forms part of the New Forest. The New Forest has a mosaic of heathland, grassland, coniferous and deciduous woodland habitats that host diverse wildlife. The forest is protected as a national park, limiting development and agricultural use to protect the landscape and wildlife. Large areas of the New Forest are open common lands kept as a grassland plagia climax by grazing animals, including domesticated cattle, pigs and horses, and several wild deer species. Erosion of the weak rock and sea level change flooding the lowland has carved several large estuaries and rias, notably the Long Southampton Water and the large convoluted Portsmouth Harbour. The Isle of Wight lies off the coast of Hampshire where the non-resistant rock has been eroded away, forming the Solent. A 2014 study found that Hampshire shares significant reserves of shale oil with other neighboring counties, totaling 4.4 billion barrels of oil which then Business and Energy Minister Michael Fallon said will bring jobs and business opportunities and significantly help with UK energy self-sufficiency. Fracking in the area is required to achieve these objectives, which has been opposed by environmental groups. Natural England identifies a number of national character areas that lie wholly or partially in Hampshire, the Hampshire Downs, New Forest, South Hampshire Lowlands, South Coast Plain, South Downs, Low Weald, and Thames Basin Heaths. 
Hampshire contains all its green belt in the New Forest District, in the southwest of the county, from the boundary with Dorset along the coastline to Lymington and northwards to Ringwood. Its boundary is contiguous with the New Forest National Park. The Hampshire portion was first created in 1958. Its function is to control expansion in the southeast Dorset conurbation and outlying towns and villages. The highest point in Hampshire is Pilot Hill at, in the northwest corner of the county, bordering Berkshire, and there are some 20 other hills exceeding. Boozer Hill, at, where the A3 crosses the South Downs, is probably the best known. In the north and center of the county the substrate is the rocks of the Chalk Group, which form the Hampshire Downs and the South Downs. These are high hills with steep slopes where they border the clays to the south. The hills dip steeply forming a scarp onto the Thames Valley to the north, and dip gently to the south. The highest village in Hampshire at about above sea level is Ashmansworth, located between Andover and Newbury. The Itchen and Test are trout rivers that flow from the chalk through wooded valleys into Southampton water. Other important watercourses are the Hamble, Meon, Bewley and Limington rivers. The Hampshire Avon, which links Stonehenge to the sea, passes through Fording Bridge and Ringwood and then forms the modern border between Hampshire and Dorset. The northern branch of the riverway has its source near Alton and flows east past Bentley. The river Loddon rises at West Ham Farm and flows north through Basingstoke. Hampshire's downland supports a calcareous grassland habitat, important for wildflowers and insects. A large area of the downs is now protected from further agricultural damage by the East Hampshire area of outstanding natural beauty. The river test has a growing number of otters as, increasingly, does the Itchen although other areas of the county have quite low numbers. There are wild boar kept for meat in the New Forest, which is known for its ponies and herds of fallow deer, red deer, roe deer, and sika deer as well as a small number of munt yak deer. The deer had been hunted for some 900 years until 1997. An unwelcome relative newcomer is the mink population, descended from animals that escaped or were deliberately released from fur farms since the 1950s, which cause havoc amongst native wildlife. Farlington Marshes, a flower-rich grazing marsh and saline lagoon at the north end of Langston Harbour, is a nature reserve and an internationally important overwintering site for wildfowl. In a valley on the Downs is Selborne, the countryside surrounding the village was the location of Gilbert White's pioneering observations on natural history. Hampshire's county flower is the dog rose. Hampshire has a milder climate than most areas of the British Isles, being in the far south with the climate-stabilizing effect of the sea but protected against more extreme weather of the Atlantic coast. Hampshire has a higher average annual temperature than the UK average at, average rainfall at per year, and holds higher than average sunshine totals of around 1,750 hours of sunshine per year. For the complete list of settlements see list of places in Hampshire and list of settlements in Hampshire by population. Hampshire's county town is Winchester a historic city that was once the capital of the ancient kingdom of Wessex and of England until the Norman conquest of England. The port cities of Southampton and Portsmouth were split off as independent unitary authorities in 1997, although they are still included in Hampshire for ceremonial purposes. Fareham, Gosport and Havant have grown into a conurbation that stretches along the coast between the two main cities. The three cities are all university cities, Southampton being home to the University of Southampton and Southampton Solent University, formerly Southampton Institute, Portsmouth to the University of Portsmouth, and Winchester to the University of Winchester, formerly known as University College Winchester, King Alfred's College. The northeast of the county houses the Blackwater Valley Conurbation which includes the towns of Farnborough, Aldershot, Blackwater and Yateley and borders both Berkshire and Surrey. Hampshire lies outside the Green Belt area of restricted development around London, but has good railway and motorway links to the capital, and in common with the rest of the southeast has seen the growth of dormitory towns since the 1960s. Basingstoke, in the northern part of the county, has grown from a country town into a business and financial center. Aldershot, Portsmouth, and Farnborough have strong military associations with the Army, Royal Navy, and Royal Air Force respectively. The county also includes several market towns, Alton, Andover, Bishop's Waltham, Lymington, New Milton, Petersfield, Ringwood, Romsey, and Whitchurch. At the 2001 census the ceremonial county recorded a population of 1,644,249 of which 1,240,103 were in the administrative county, 217,445 were in the unitary authority of Southampton, 
and 186,701 were in Portsmouth. The population of the administrative county grew 5.6 percent from the 1991 census and Southampton grew 6.2 percent, Portsmouth remained unchanged, compared with 2.6 percent for England and Wales as a whole. Eastleigh and Winchester grew fast as did 9 percent each. Southampton and Portsmouth are the main settlements within the South Hampshire conurbation, which is home to about half of the ceremonial county's population. The larger South Hampshire metropolitan area has a population of 1,547,000. Cities and towns by population size, 2001 census. The table below shows the population change up to the 2011 census, contrasting the previous census. It also shows the proportion of residents in each district reliant upon lowest income and or joblessness benefits, the national average proportion of which was 4.5 percent, August 2012. The most populous district of Hampshire is New Forest District. At the 2011 census, about 89 percent of residents were white British, falling to 85.87 percent in Southampton. The significant ethnic minorities were Asian at 2.6% and mixed race at 1.4%. 10% of residents were born outside the UK. 59.7% stated their religion is Christian and 29.5% is not religious. Significant minority religions were Islam, 1.46%, and Hinduism, 0.73%. The Church of England Diocese of Winchester was founded in 676 AD and covers about two-thirds of Hampshire and extends into Dorset. Smaller parts of Hampshire are covered by the dioceses of Portsmouth, Guildford, and Oxford. The Roman Catholic Diocese of Portsmouth covers Hampshire as well as the Isle of Wight and the Channel Islands. With the exceptions of the unitary authorities of Portsmouth and Southampton, Hampshire is governed by Hampshire County Council based at Castle Hill and Winchester with 11 non-metropolitan districts beneath it and, for the majority of the county, parish councils or town councils at the local level. Hampshire contains two national parks, the New Forest is wholly within the county, and the South Downs National Park embraces parts of Hampshire, West Sussex and East Sussex, they are each overseen by a national park authority. Hampshire is divided into 18 parliamentary constituencies. At the 2017 general election, the Conservatives captured 16 seats, continuing their dominance in county. Labour took two seats, Southampton Test and Portsmouth South. In the 2015 general election, every Hampshire seat except Southampton Test, Labour, was won by the Conservatives. In 2010, 14 constituencies were represented by Conservative members of Parliament, MPs, two by the Liberal Democrats, and two by Labour. Labour represented the largest urban centre holding both Southampton constituencies, Test and Itchen. The Liberal Democrats held Portsmouth South and Eastleigh. The Conservatives represent a mix of rural and urban areas, Aldershot, Basingstoke, East Hampshire, Fareham, Gosport, Havant, Meehan Valley, North East Hampshire, Northwest Hampshire, New Forest East, New Forest West, Portsmouth North, Romsey and Southampton North and Winchester. At the 2013 local elections for Hampshire County Council, the Conservative Party had a 37.51% share of the votes, the Liberal Democrats 21.71%, the UK Independence Party 24.61% and Labour 10%. As a result, 45 Conservatives, 17 Liberal Democrats, 10 UKIP, 4 Labour and 1 Community Campaign Councillor sit on the County Council. Southampton City Council which is a separate unitary authority, has 28 Labour, 16 Conservative, 2 councillors against the cuts and 2 Liberal Democrat councillors. Portsmouth City Council, also a UA, has 25 Liberal Democrat, 12 Conservative and 5 Labour councillors. Hampshire has its own County Youth Council, HCYC, and is an independent youth-run organisation. It meets once a month around Hampshire and aims to give the young people of Hampshire a voice. It also has numerous district and borough youth councils including Basingstoke, Basingstoke and Dean Youth Council. Hampshire is one of the most affluent counties in the country, with a gross domestic product, GDP, of £29 billion, excluding Southampton and Portsmouth. In 2018, Hampshire had a GDP per capita of £22,100, comparable with the UK as a whole. Portsmouth and Winchester have the highest job densities in the county. 
38% of workplace workers in Portsmouth commuted into the city in 2011. Southampton has the highest number of total jobs in commuting both into and out of the city is high. The county has a lower level of unemployment than the national average, at 1.3% when the national rate is 2.1%, as of February 2018. About one-third are employed by large firms. Hampshire has a considerably higher than national average employment in high-tech industries, but average levels in knowledge-based industry. About 25% of the population work in the public sector. Tourism accounts for some 60,000 jobs in the county, around 9% of the total. One of the principal companies in the high-tech sector is IBM which has its research and development laboratories at Hursley and its UK headquarters at Cosham. Many rural areas of Hampshire have traditionally been reliant on agriculture, particularly dairy farming, although the significance of agriculture as a rural employer on rural wealth creator has declined since the first half of the 20th century and agriculture currently employs 1.32% of the rural population. The extractive industries deal principally with sand, gravel, clay and hydrocarbons. There are three active oil fields in Hampshire with one being also used as a natural gas store. These are in the west of the county in the Wessex Basin. The Weald Basin to the east has potential as a source of shale oil but is not currently exploited. The New Forest Area is a national park, and tourism is a significant economic segment in this area, with 7.5 million visitors in 1992. The South Downs in the cities of Portsmouth, Southampton, and Winchester also attract tourists to the county. Southampton Boat Show is one of the biggest annual events held in the county and attracts visitors from throughout the country. In 2003, the county had a total of 31 million day visits, and 4.2 million longer stays. The cities of Southampton and Portsmouth are both significant ports, with Southampton docks handling a large proportion of the national container freight traffic as well as being a major base for cruise liners, and Portsmouth Harbour accommodating one of the Royal Navy's main bases and a terminal for cross-channel ferries to France and Spain. The docks have traditionally been large employers in these cities, though mechanization of cargo handling has led to a reduction in manpower needed. The Marine Accident Investigation Branch has its principal offices in Southampton, while the Air Accidents Investigation Branch has its head office in Farnborough. The Rail Accident Investigation Branch has one of its two offices at Farnborough. Southampton Airport, with an accompanying mainline railway station, is an international airport situated in the borough of Eastleigh close to Swaithling in the city of Southampton. The Farnborough International Air Show is a week-long event that combines a major trade exhibition for the aerospace and defense industries with a public air show. The event is held in mid-July in even-numbered years at Farnborough Airport. The first five days, Monday to Friday, are dedicated to trade, with the final two days open to the public. Cross-channel and cross-Soland ferries from Southampton, Portsmouth and Lymington link the county to the Isle of Wight the Channel Islands and Continental Europe. The Southwestern Main Line, operated by Southwestern Railway, from London to Weymouth runs through Winchester and Southampton, and the Wessex Main Line from Bristol to Portsmouth also runs through the county as does the Portsmouth Direct Line. The M3 motorway bisects the county from the southwest, at the edge of the New Forest near Southampton, to the northeast on its way to connect with M25 London Orbital Motorway. At its southern end it links with the M27 South Coast Motorway. The construction of the Twyford Down cutting near Winchester caused major controversy by cutting through a series of ancient trackways and other features of archaeological significance. The M27 serves as a bypass for the major conurbations and as a link to other settlements on the south coast. Other important roads include the A27, A3, A31, A34, A36 and A303. The county has a high level of car ownership, with only 15.7% having no access to a private car compared with 26.8% for England and Wales. The county has a lower than average use of trains, 3.2 compared with 4.1% for commuting, and buses, 3.2 to 7.4%, but a higher than average use of bicycles, 3.5 to 2.7%, and cars, 63.5 to 55.3%. Hampshire formerly had several canals, but most of these have been abandoned and their routes built over. The Basingstoke Canal has been extensively restored, and is now navigable for most of its route, but the Salisbury and Southampton Canal, Andover Canal and Portsmouth and Arundel Canal have all disappeared. Restoration of the itch and navigation, linking Southampton and Winchester, primarily as a wildlife corridor, 
began in 2008. The school system in Hampshire, including Southampton and Portsmouth, is comprehensive. Geographically inside the Hampshire Lee are 24 independent schools, Southampton has three and Portsmouth has four. Few Hampshire schools have sixth forms, which varies by district council. There are 14 further education colleges within the Hampshire Lee, including six graded as outstanding by Ofsted, Alpin College, Brockenhurst College, Farnborough College of Technology, Farnborough Sixth Form College, Peter Simons College, Queen Mary's College, and South Downs College. The four universities are the University of Southampton, Southampton Solent University, the University of Portsmouth, and the University of Winchester, which also had a small campus in Basingstoke until 2011. Farnborough College of Technology awards University of Surrey accredited degrees. There are major NHS hospitals in each of the cities, and smaller hospitals in several towns, as well as a number of private hospitals. Southern Health NHS Foundation Trust coordinates public health services, while Hampshire Hospitals NHS Foundation Trust coordinates hospital services. Hampshire is the home of many orchestras, bands, and groups. Musician Laura Marling hails originally from Hampshire. The Hampshire County Youth Choir is based in Winchester and has had successful tours of Canada and Italy in recent years. The Hampshire County Youth Orchestra, with its associated chamber orchestra and string orchestra, is based at Thorndon Hall. There are a number of local museums, such as the City Museum in Winchester, which covers the Iron Age and Roman periods, the Middle Ages, and the Victorian period over three floors. A museum of the Iron Age is in Andover. Southampton's Sea City Museum is primarily focused on the city's links with the Titanic. Basingstoke's Milestones Museum records the county's industrial heritage. There are also a number of national museums in Hampshire. The National Motor Museum is located in the New Forest at Bewley. The Royal Navy Museum is part of Portsmouth Historic Dockyard. Other military museums include the Submarine Museum at Gosport, the Royal Marines Museum, originally in Southsea but due to transfer to the dockyard in 2019, the Aldershot Military Museum. The D-Day Museum by South Sea Castle and the Museum of Army Flying at Middle Wallop. Several museums and historic buildings in Hampshire are the responsibility of the Hampshire Cultural Trust. The New Forest and Hampshire County Show takes place annually at the end of July, 2018 marks its 98th year. The largest gathering of Muslims in Western Europe, Jalsa Salana, takes place near Alton, with 37,000 visitors in 2017. The ancient festival of Beltane takes place at Boozer Ancient Farm in the spring. There are 187 grade I listed buildings in the county, ranging from statues to farm buildings and churches to castles, 511 buildings listed grade 2, and many more listed in the grade 2 category. National Heritage's figures include the Isle of Wight, listing 208 grade I buildings, 578 grade 2 and 10,372 grade 2. 731 scheduled monuments, two wrecks, 91 parks and gardens, and a battlefield, the Battle of Cheriton, which took place in 1644, near Winchester. The game of cricket was largely developed in southeast England, with one of the first teams forming at Hambledon in 1750, with the Hambledon club creating many of cricket's early rules. Hampshire County Cricket Club is a first-class team. The main county ground is the Rose Bowl in West End, which has hosted one-day internationals and which, following redevelopment, hosted its first test match in 2011. The world's oldest surviving bowling green is the Southampton Old Bowling Green, which was first used in 1299. Hampshire's relatively safe waters have allowed the county to develop as one of the busiest sailing areas in the country, with many yacht clubs and several manufacturers on the Solent. The Hamble Bewley and Lymington Rivers are major centers for both competitive and recreational sailing, along with Highland Ocean Village Marinas. The sport of windsurfing was invented at Hailing Island in the southeast of the county. Hampshire has several association football teams, including Premier League side Southampton FC, League One side Portsmouth FC and Conference Premier sides Aldershot Town FC, Eastleigh FC and Habent and Waterlooville. Portsmouth FC and Southampton FC have traditionally been fierce rivals. Portsmouth won the FA Cup in 1939 and 2008 and the Football League title in 1949 and 1950. Southampton won the FA Cup in 1976 and reached the finals in 1900, 1902, and 2003.
Aldershot FC were members of the Football League from 1932 to 1992. They were succeeded by Aldershot Town FC, who in 2008 were crowned the Conference Premier Champions and promoted to the Football League, but lost their Football League status after the 2012 13 season. Hampshire has a number of non league football teams. Bashley, Gosport Borough, and AFC Totten play in the Southern Football League Premier Division, and Scholing FC and Winchester City FC play in the Southern Football League Division 1 South and West. Thruxton Circuit, in the north of the county, is Hampshire's premier motor racing circuit, with a karting circuit, there are other karting circuits at Southampton and Gosport. The other main circuit is the Ringwood Raceway at Matchams. Lasham Airfield, near Alton, is a major center for gliding, hosting both regional and national annual competitions. The county's television news is covered by BBC South today from its studios in Southampton and ITV Meridian from a studio in Whiteley though both BBC London and ITV London can be received in northern and eastern parts of the county. A local independent television station, that's Hampshire, started transmitting in May 2017. Around 25 commercial radio stations cover the area, and BBC Radio Solent looks after the majority of the county, while BBC Surrey can be heard in the northeast. University journalism students also broadcast bulletins online for local areas, such as the University of Winchester's Wine Owl. Winchester News Online, run by students on its B.A. Hans journalism course. Southampton and Portsmouth support daily newspapers, the Southern Daily Echo and the News respectively. The Basingstoke Gazette is published three times a week, and there are a number of other papers that publish on a weekly basis, notably the Hampshire Chronicle, one of the oldest newspapers in the country. Possibly the most notable resident was the Duke of Wellington who lived at Stratfield Say House in the north of the county from 1817. Hampshire's literary connections include the birthplace of authors Jane Austen, Wilbert Audrey, and Charles Dickens, and the residence of others, such as Charles Kingsley and Mrs. Gaskell. Austen lived most of her life in Hampshire, where her father was rector of Steventon, and wrote all of her novels in the county. Hampshire also has many visual art connections, claiming the painter John Everett Milley as a native and the cities and countryside have been the subject of paintings by L.S. Lowry and J.M.W. Turner. Selborne was the home of Gilbert White, his house is now a museum, which also includes the Oates Collection, dedicated to the explorer Lawrence Oates. Journalist and social critic Christopher Hitchens was born into a naval family in Portsmouth. Broadcasters Philippa Forrester, Amanda Lamb and Scott Mills also are from the county. American actor and game show host, Richard Dawson, was born and raised here. Thanks for watching. Don't forget like the video and don't forget to subscribe.